So now that the uh, the huddles have been broke, the coin has been flipped. Filipinas will start on defense as Vanuatu will start with it at the top of the key. Shout out to uh, Vanuatu, one of the, I guess, lesser known teams and lesser known countries. Oh, but they they getting on the map early in this game as the two-piece goes down for Balanga, Malanga. Can make this, uh, make this a game. And Janine Pantanejos drops off the pass. Look at Animam with the suffocating defense. It's a tough Philippine squad. They got everything, size, quickness, shooting. Playmaking ability, Bernardino and Patanejos. They keep that rock on the yo yo, although they do turn that one over. Oh, behind the back. Oh, and the J no, missed. This place would have lost it. They completed that play. In the meantime, Panteos couldn't knock it down, but it's cleaned up and tied up at two apiece. Vanuatu, in case you didn't know, Pacific Island country in the South Pacific. About uh, 1,090 miles east of Northern Australia. Pantejos will shoot one meantime. She is dynamite. Big things come in small packages. She's the definition of that. Bernardino, easy breezy. Gives Philippines a two-point advantage. And the lady Filipinas can draw some motivation from the men today. As Pantejos starting to get that stroke going. But the men go 2-0 here day two with RJ going ham. Make sure the cameraman's okay after that one. They won't make it to the main draw, but they have certainly stole the show. Well, our body Intos did here day two. Push off, but uh, shot clock violation in any case. Come up empty on that possession. Does Vanuatu. Philippines looking to add to this four-point lead already. Animam decides to kick it. Pantejos, that's deep. Jab step, lets it go from the sport court logo. Just barely missed it. Rebounded and cleared. Good idea on the pass. Too much sauce on it. Out of bounds it goes. Back over to Philippines. Animam will inbound. Quickly down to the post. She's going to set a screen. And this, this, that's the type of indicator right there, Bernardino. They didn't need to, to run any action there, but you can tell that this Filipino team has really worked on the nuances of the game. Picked up the strategy. They're running some nice action. They know where to be on the court. Nice pass. But doesn't amount to nothing. And Imam. Oh, she threaded the needle on that dime. The Bernardino, who scored it easily. And a six-point lead for the Filipinas. Oh, step back, new. Castro checking in. She's been a tough guard for pretty much every lady that's tried to check her. She's got that size and that length underneath. But an offensive foul is called. Castro standing 195, 22 years old. 
making her 3x3 debut. Nowhere to go with that one. That's some good action right there. Leads to a bucket for Vanuatu. So Izono getting it to go. Five point game still though. Castro goes down. Out of bounds off blue, white ball. Nope, turnover. Zona wasn't looking for the rock. Castro, ball fake, turn around Jay. Mwah. Kisses it off the glass. Point number nine for the Philippines. Late in the shot clock, got it up, didn't hit any rim. Violation, and over to the Philippines. Winner of qualifying draw A. We playing Japan and Sri Lanka. In the main draw, Bernardino's pass is stolen. Almost stole it back. Snuck in there. She's saying that, that it went off of uh, Nancy Patterson's leg, but can't fool our referees. Vanuatu's gonna stay with the rock. Seven seconds to work with on the shot clock. Let it go early in the shot clock. Castro comes out of there, starts the possession, bump and the bucket, and Imam. Chance to make it an eight point lead. Both teams step aside. The Lady Filipinas will hold the only hope for the Philippines with the men's team eliminated. This ladies team is just as exciting. Bernardino and Pantejos, two of my favorite players. Now, I don't root for any team. I like good plays and I got respect for good players. They are two of the best at the guard position. First started to see what Pantejos had at the World Cup in Manila last year. She won gold at the uh, two-point shootout and really became a fan favorite. Bantejos coming off uh, day one where she was player of the day on the women's side. She deserved it. Bantejos comes free. No hesitation on the shot, missed it, but Castro gets the rebound. She misses as well, stays 11 to three. Oh, nice move. Look at the D though, any mom getting down there. Give me that rock. Pantejos, I'll take that. You take this. Bucket, 12-3. Good D from Castro there, any mom. Rebound, quick kick out, Pantejos to Castro. That is a thing of beauty. Whole possession. Recognized the, the mismatch and quickly got it down low. 10 point lead just like that. We could be seeing another game in before the limit. The previous women's game, Chinese Taipei, 21 to two win over Samoa and they still have 517 left. So some pesky defense there from Pauline Malanga. Started this game off with a two ball. Vanuatu led it 2 nothing. They've only scored one point since then, so a 13 to one run for the Philippines to put them in control of this game. And in control of the group, qualifying draw A. Oh, look at the passing. Hot potato, Sharon is caring. Leads to the 14th bucket for the Philippines. Ponteo thought she had it. And Bernardino does have it. The thievery, the kick out. Pantejos, wide open. Missed it badly to the left. Animam couldn't get the crib. Pantejos there to recover it. She misses again. Animam off her fingers. Out of bounds. Over to Vanuatu. Vanuatu, they want a timeout, want a breather. 
Approaching the five minute mark, 5-14 officially. In a 14-3 game, it's been all Philippines. No disrespect to Vanuatu, but not necessarily a shock. That's really more credit to how good the Philippines have been. More than a shot at Vanuatu. I think the more experience they get, the better, you know, the better teams they're gonna feel in 3x3 competitions. It's just, it's just different. It's different in the Philippines. It's a whole different vibe when it comes to hoops, especially 3x3. They live and they breathe it. And like I said before, it translates to the court. Malanga, pass tipped. Pateos couldn't steal it, and Imam though. So even that defensive effort doesn't lead to a steal, but it only leaves two seconds on the shot clock remaining for Vanuatu. So Malanga's got to get it up quick. Not quick enough. Shot clock violation. Philippines within seven points of ending this. Five minutes of game time. A couple of men's games still left. One will be inconsequential for the main draw. Vanuatu and Malaysia. Pantejos showing the touch. Right in the paint. The game that, that you'll want to see though. It's the final game of the day, South Korea and India. Which will uh, again decide which of those two teams will make it to the main draw. Balanga. Behind the two-point arc, nope, follows it, bumping the bucket. Vanuatu showing, showing some life. They got a pulse, at least. Not much in one, trailing by 11. Made free throw here, would still be a double-digit game. Missed, Bernardino. Quickly out to Pontejos. Pontejos, high arc. Splash. Seventeen to four. The Bernardino. Oh, that's a good move. Shot clock violation. Bernardino takes over, top of the key. Oh, she's gone with the win. Quicker than takeout on the move to the right. 18 to four. Pantejos, another look. No, nope. Bernardino back over to Pantejos. Same spot. And she gets the result she wanted the second time around, 20 to four. As Nancy Patterson turned the corner. Game point for the Philippines. Good defensive play. <laughs> Earned the possession for Vanuatu. Bernardino might have just ran out of gas. A little careless with the rock there. But game point for the Filipinas. They came out and handled business. Leaving no doubt who the best team on the court between these two te teams are. They rocking the blue jerseys. Clap, 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 clap your hands. 3.30, 9.00. And counting, left, Balanga. Missed it. Got the rebound, missed it again. Got another rebound. Castro, Swatzer. Pantejos, quick down to Castro. Over the back, call. Game point, Rocks in Bernardino's hands. Pantejos roaming the baseline. Oh, pass right on the money to Castro, but 
She misses it. So Belanga, she'll swing it over. Izono over to Patterson. Patterson, Faker. Pantejo says, oh, I got your back. That was, that was deep. And the life jacket for that one. 22 to 5 is over with. As the Philippines will be on into the main draw, joining Japan and Sri Lanka. Thank you.